Hello again, what is up? Welcome back. Uh, I'm not feeling well, but I wanted to get this out here because I'm pretty excited that we've got three new servants uh, on the latest FTO event. It is the collaboration event. We've got three new servants to look at, so uh, let's take a look at them. They are uh, a one-star Lancer, Mary Anning, uh, a four-star quick AoE caster, uh, Dicolkotin, and then a five-star Super Bunyan single target buster alter ego so we're gonna go through them in that order uh feel free to look through the chapters below in case you need to jump to one or the other of these for now let's get to it first up we have mary anning a one star lancer arts aoe arts aoe one star lancer yes she can loot uh, this is the quote-unquote welfare of the event so far. Uh, we're only on part one banner, assuming there's a part two. If not, then this is going to be the de facto welfare in the friend point banner. Um, double arts, double buster kit. Uh, looking like a three hit arts quick and buster with a five hit extra attack. Going on down the line here, let's take a look at her skills. They do all contribute uh, to her niche here. So, First up, attack up for targets with gender female or gender unknown. Um, it's 10 to 15% for a one star, that's really good, like really good. And then arts up for targets with uh, gender female or gender unknown on party as well, 10 to 15%. Again, a one star, very, very good, very good. And then NP gain up on the party, that is a flat 10%. You don't have to worry about the scaling on that. This is a good skill, like a really good skill for a one star, this is good. Moving on over to skill two. Um, a 20 to 30 star bomb with a four turn cooldown. A, a, four, a four turn cooldown <clears throat> and a 20 to 30 star bomb. That's really good. Really good. Um, now it does drain HP by 500 from self, but it's 500. It's okay if you're going to be doing three turn looping. You're not too worried about that at all. And if you need to clean up a little bit on one of the waves, these stars are going to make that very easy to do. Very easy to do. On the third skill over here, we do have uh, Drain NP by 20% from all enemies. And then Charge your party's NP by 10%. Again, all contributing to the looping uh, that you'll need to clear anything here. And then Crit Damage up 20 to 30%. Again, for three turns, that's a very good skill for a one-star Lancer. This is an impressive kit for a one-star. I'm very, very happy to see uh, such a, a powerful low-star get added into the game. Now, are they game-breaking? No, I'm not saying powerful is in like going to be meta-redefining. But this is good. It's very good. Um, the star weight of 87 is exactly on par with what you'd see with other low-star Lancers. 87. Um, a lot of others are 89. Um, I think Leonidas is 89. Um, so that's that's right on par. The star gen is fine. It's okay. It's not really going to be your calling card, but it's not going to be zero either. Uh, and other than that, I mean, we're just really happy to see what this servant brings to the table. On the passives and the pen skills for Mary Anning over here, we do have a 10% debuff resist that appears to be the only thing right now. On the third, a pen skill, it is anti alter ego, 20 to 30%. Uh, that could factor in from the event, I imagine it would, uh, seeing as how Super Bunyan is an alter ego as well. So, all in all, uh, it's a pretty straightforward servant, pretty straightforward kit. One star, arts, AoE, again, first skill. Arts up, attack up, you've got multiplicative damage right there. NP gain up as well. On the second skill, you've got stars. Cool, that can help you clear another wave. As a one star, they may need that little bit of damage threshold to clear a second or third wave. And then on the third, it's it's an NP charge for the party. It's pretty straightforward, it really is. But it's effective, it's effective. This is a looping uh, one star Lancer, AoE. So we love to see that, love to see that. Next we have Dicolkotin. Dicolkotin is a looping, quick AoE caster. Uh, very impressive how easy it is to loop with Dicolkotin over here. Um, again, star weight right on par with where they are for their class. Nothing special for the star weight. Uh, three hits on the Buster and Arts, five hits on the Quick, and five hits on the Extra. That's very good to see. On this first skill here, we do have Quick up for themselves, 20 to 30%. 5 to 10 stars per turn and 500 to 1,000 HP per turn on the party. The stars per turn and quick is on themselves, the HP per turn is on the party. This is a five turn cooldown, so essentially looking at two turns of downtime, 
It's pretty good, honestly. Uh, it applies to a lot of what you want to see from a quick servant, which is either stars or quick up, especially if you want them to loop. Going over to the second skill, 20 to 30% battery. Very nice. It is a six turn cooldown. That's okay. NP per turn on the party, not just themselves, 5 to 10%. On the third skill over here, evade on the party one time over three turns and then NP gain up on the party 20 to 30% reminiscent of Achilles NP gain up, except it's on the whole party. Very good kit. Again, another servant where all of the skills run into their niche. It supplies very nicely into what they need in order to make their niche happen, which is, again, a quick AoE looping caster. I can't believe I'm finally saying it after so many years in the game. First up, it applies quick resistance down by 20% on all enemies. That's essentially quick up for themselves in the game's damage algorithm. And then it deals super effective damage against earth attribute enemies. Again, that's very good, very good. Reminiscent of Ereshkigal's recent buff. And then crit damage up 20% on the party. Again, you want to see that on a quick servant. Uh, if they can not clear the wave, then you're looking to do some crit damage with all of the stars that they are going to when supply. You look at their NP, it's nine hits. Nine hits. So you may not have as many stars as a Zerker lot with his skills applied, but you're going to have a decent amount. It's going to be enough. Um, not to be outdone, the star weight of 51 is right on par with other casters in the game. Uh, not going to get, um, you know, a heavy amount of stars on themselves if you're around uh, some of the night classes, for instance. Uh, but you're going to be right in the middle of the road if you're doing a double Scotty system, which is almost exclusively where you're going to see Daikokuten thrive. Uh, all in all, pretty good. If we look at their uh, Ascension art here, it's really straightforward. It's a lot more straightforward than Mary Anning. Not as varied. Uh, in the final one, it looks reminiscent of a Craft Essence. I'm kind of surprised that this is the final Ascension art, but I'm not exactly... Uh, hating on it either. It is what it is. Overall, again, a very straightforward servant. It's a quick AoE looping caster. Uh, you're just going to take them out to do some farming, and they're going to do that job pretty well for you. Last but not least, we do have Super Bunyan, 5-star Alter Ego, Triple Buster deck. Again, a 5-hit extra card. Uh, four hits on the quick, three hits on the arts, and three hits on the buster. Um, the star weight of 97 is right on par with other alter egos in the game. It's like three lower than Melt, I think. Uh, so overall, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Uh, going through the kit here, you're going to see, again, a very straightforward kit, except for one specific passive, which is very interesting and we'll look at. Uh, on the first skill here, 20 to 30% attack up, and then 10 to 20% buster up. The attack up is on themselves, the buster up is on the party. On the second skill here, 20 to 30% battery, and then overcharge up by one on the party, that's important later on. Over on this third skill, it's a little bit more utility, it's NP seal on all enemies. Uh, they do have star weight up on their buster card for the entire party for three turns, 300 to 500%, that's very nice, that's very nice. Over on the NP, Super Bunyan has a single target buster NP. It's 600 to 1000% standard scaling, except for the fact that they do have a very interesting niche here. So we'll get to that again in just one moment. The overcharge is defense down on one enemy, uh, 10 to 30% depending on overcharge. Again, the overcharge from their second skill does apply here uh, because it is on the party. So you're looking at 15% on your first MP with the skill applied. Nothing to call home about, but interesting nonetheless, depending on some of the servants that you're bringing with you for support. On the passives, uh, anytime Super Bunyan takes an attack or dishes out an attack, it applies the like trait to themselves. Every like trait that they have when they cast their NP uh, has a maximum of 10 stacks to apply here, but every single one of those for 10 can apply an additional 5% special attack. So you're looking at potentially 50% special attack, uh, depending on the number of the likes on there. Uh, interesting, and it's what makes Super Bunyan capable of being a CQ level servant. So. Not as straightforward as the uh, one star and the four star. However, they clearly have a job to do, and that's to dish out damage against a single target uh, and to do so at a pretty high rate depending on the number of passives you can stack on them. It seems like this is a servant that's built to get stronger the longer a fight goes on. That's a very good thing, especially when you consider that on this second skill, a six turn cooldown with a 30% battery, depending on your mystic code, depending on the servants you have in support, you're looking at buster looping without any issues at all. So, very interesting overall. Going through the servants here, let's take a look at the skill order that you're going to want to level these. On this first skill here, I would recommend you level this first. It's 10 to 15% on the attack up and the arts up. The NP gain, again, is a flat number. That's good. 
Uh, but with this being a one star, you're gonna want that extra damage anytime you can get it. And with this being multiplicative damage, that little bit extra oomph is going to help as well. So the first skill is definitely the place to go first, in my opinion, for leveling skills. On the second skill, it is very nice at 20 to 30. That's really good, again, for a one star. Um, this is probably where I would look to level the next, but then after this, the third skill can go. Uh, you're getting a nice crit damage up buff, but again, the difference between the two turns for a looping servant like this, uh, not really going to make much of a difference. This isn't someone that you should be taking into challenge quests to each their own, obviously. Uh, but in my opinion, this can go last. In fact, if you took this to four or six only, it'd be totally fine. You're not looking at a demonstrable difference between those for what this servant likes to do within their niche. For Daikokuten, it's a little bit different. You do have a very specific, very hierarchical order that you want to level these skills. The second skill has got to go first, 20 to 30 percent. It's the battery. It needs to be leveled first. NP per turn on the party, 5 to 10 percent. This is just, it's, it's clear cut. You need to get this skill leveled, especially if you're going to be doing quick looping with them. Uh, next up is the third skill, uh, the NP gain up the 20 to 30 percent. For a quick servant, that's extremely important very very important that you get the NP gain up but not to be outdone is this first skill the 20 to 30 percent quick up is also really important not so much the stars per turn or the HP per turn but definitely the quick up so I would say the second skill needs to be first if you have to pick one to go first after that skill 3 and skill 1 should probably be taken in concert skill 3 a little bit more important for looping purposes than skill 1 um, overall though, I would take skill 3 and 1 up at the same time if you can with skill 2, the far front runner for Daikokuten. For Super Bunyan, again, we have a very clear order by which you should raise the skills. The second one, by far the most important, 20 to 30% on the NP battery. The overcharge is a flat one uh, on the party, it's one turn, that's totally fine. Uh, that's not going to scale, but the battery does and that's really important. This, the first skill is going to be your second one up. Uh, it's got to be the attack up 20 to 30 percent for three turns on themselves and 10 to 20 percent up buster uh, For the party multiple give damage is going to be very nice any amount of damage You can squeak out for a potential CQ servant like super bunion is going to be uh, is very good Especially when dealing with super effective damage So uh, the first skill needs to be the second one to go up on the third skill. It's more of a utility uh, because the NP seal is flat uh, because the star up buster uh, 300 to 500 percent is it's good, but it's not necessarily going to turn the tide one way or another with a middle star weight firmly in the middle of the road at 97. Again, as I've referenced in the past, low scale is about 9, uh, and then high scaling star weight is about 200, 209, something around that. So again, firmly in the middle of the road, any amount of, st of the uh, statistical change that you can influence is going to be a massive influence on where the stars go. So uh, not so much as important as the second skill especially, but then the first skill needs to go second, and then the third skill over here can go last. Um, good for party utility, good for... Uh, CQ utility as well. The NP seal can be nice depending on the, the uh, fight that you're in for two lower turns, but with so much of the game now predicated on not lasting six turns in a fight anyway, uh, it could be uh, fine to go last, maybe even leave at level four or six depending on your materials. Thanks so much for watching. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this content. Enjoy the event, enjoy the new servants, they are fun. Uh, I will see you over at twitch.tv slash Sharquato or in the Discord, discord.gg slash Sharquato. Uh, if not, I'll see you on the next video here at YouTube. Thank you so much. Once again, have a great one. Take care.